Boys was written by John Kander and Fred Ebb, famously known for Chicago and Cabaret, also known for Kiss of the Spider Woman and Curtains. Um, the Scottsboro Boys was on Broadway in 2010. It was originally choreographed and directed by Susan Stroman, who I think audiences would know from the producers. Right, Crazy um, For You. Crazy For You. And Contact the Musical. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, if you would know, if you remember. When Lauren asked me to do this job, I, was, I thought it was like a great fit. It seems like the same path that Stro took. We did um, Christmas Carol together, so we worked together for three years. And she's an amazing woman, and I had the opportunity to audition for it. She gave me so much love and made me feel so comfortable that I, was, I felt fearless in the room with her. And that's what I think, I, that's what I'm trying to do with this company. The Scottsboro Boys is about nine African-American teenagers who were falsely accused of a crime in 1931. And it sort of follows the, um, the trial and the shenanigans that ensued with the hoopla around the trial. I read an article that John Kander wrote when they were creating the Scottsboro Boys and he was reading some original sort of journalism from the day and he said that one of the journalists said that the trial itself was like a minstrel show which inspired him to write it in that vernacular. Oh, so it was this uh, uh, retelling of the Scottsboro Boys trial through minstrelsy which is controversial. It's really brave of our actors to get up there and do that. I'm gonna give the actors empowerment to own all of their journey. It's not you're not doing anything for anybody else, you're doing it for you. You came into this theater and you're putting on a play, you're putting on the Scottsboro Boys tonight. And this is for me. And I'm gonna complete this journey and I'm gonna control it. And I'm in charge of the jokes. I'm in charge of the tears. They're all mine. It is going to be so wonderful to tell this story in the South, this far South, um, and really start creating the conversation around the racism that still really is uh, prevalent in America right now. The show, Scott Square Boys, as an actor, is a very hard show to do. You have to be able to sing, dance, and act. It's two hours, but it's really hard, and everyone is on the stage the whole time. Moses T. Alexander Green, who's our dramaturg. Um, we did a show of his last year called Pooled, and right. I fell in love with him as a person and as an artist, so I'm really glad that you're enjoying working with him too. He's so fantastic. I think him being in the room, and he's a great dramaturg, and he knows everything about the African-American um, journey. Mm -hmm. The reason I wanted to do the Scottsboro Boys is because I think this is a story that desperately needs to be told and told and told and told. What I hope um, will come of it is that it will do what art does best, which is create conversation and promote a dialogue so we can mm. talk about these issues that are still with us. Even if you don't like it, but you came and you listened. And that's what we're here for. Come see the show because you're going to see 13 amazing actors from New York and Raleigh wearing their hearts on their sleeves, telling an amazing story, and hearing some incredible music and seeing some fine dance steps. And you will have an entertaining evening, but you're going to learn a little bit about your world at the same time. Mm -hmm.